Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. Thanks so much for being here. Today, we are going to continue the MCR B6TN project um, with, you know, before I showed you how you can create your own uh, B6 size inserts to use in a traveler's notebook cover. And I also, obviously in the intro, um, poured my heart out about <laughs> why I love MCR and what they mean to me and why I'm doing this project. So if you haven't checked those out yet, um, I will link them in the cards and also in the description. So uh, please check those out. But for today, I am going to show you how I created the covers and dashboards that um, I'm also using in that V6TN uh, cover. Okay, so to start, what you are seeing here is Canva. If you have never used Canva, I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, I do have, you know, the Adobe Creative Suite, and I use that very frequently. But I just think Canva is such a time saver. And no, this is not sponsored by Canva. Uh, I mean, if you, you want to get in there on that sponsorship, you know, I'm just saying. But um, Canva is just such a huge time saver and so convenient. And I just think it's totally worth it. And I'm going to show you um, just how I used it to create uh, these designs. Okay. And so for the actual size of your design um, for a B6 traveler's notebook um, you know that obviously the b6 tn kind of standard size is approximately five by seven um, but since this is going to be your either your cover or it's going to be a dashboard um, you're going to put it in the elastic it's going to fold in half so you see this is where um, you would normally stop for the five inch mark but you want it to be 10 inches long because it's going to fold in half um, and so you're going to do 10 inches long and then you can see here it is seven inches tall now as far as the elements of these designs which i'm going to start scrolling through in a second here everything that i used for the um, designs of the covers and the dashboards um, is stuff that i scanned so it was stuff in my personal collection um, that I, you know, we had an, an old like printer scanner combo thing from years and years ago. And I, one day I decided to just, eh, let's hook it up and see if it works. And uh, it did. And I just started going nuts and scanned everything. So I'll kind of walk you through the process from, you know, scanning the items to, um, you know, uploading them to Canva and um, how I arrange them and, and all that. So for this first one here, this was the cover um, that I used for the first insert that I made. And this one is themed around uh, Mike Kim's first album, I Brought You My Bullets, You Brought Me Your Love. Um, and this is just, you know, pieces from the uh, CD booklet, my original booklet that I've had since I bought the album back in like 2005. Um, and so I just simply scanned the pages from the booklet. Now, prior to scanning these, these were hung with tape on my wall. I had this like wall that was just like a collage of different, um, you know, posters and, and little knickknacks and things. Um, and so you see this white mark here. That's where the tape, um, you know, ripped the ink off. So what I did for this first one, um, I scanned everything in. So I just went here to, you know, upload. And then I navigated to where I saved all those scans and I saved them all on my uh, Google Drive so they would be there no matter what computer I was on. Um, and you'll see here's the original scans. They were in color, they were, you know, kind of all over the place. Um, and I just, you know, uploaded them. So this is what the scan originally looked like. I cropped it down um, so that it would it'd be like this and not have that white space there. Um, and then I just used filter here and just made it, you know, grayscale, kind of adjusted it to how I wanted. Um, you can go here and, and really just kind of play with it. But that's all I did for that. And then I just kind of 
kept adding them in and doing that and arranged them in a way that I liked. Um, and so this first one's pretty basic, you know, it's just, uh, again, just all pieces from the CD booklet that I just kind of arranged. Um, and, you know, you'll see like with this one, I don't, I have the transparency down. So it kind of, yeah, you can see um, that's what it would look like at full, you know, opacity, and then you can kind of bring it down. Um, so just, you know, kind of played around with that. And then as we scroll to the second one, this is a dashboard that I created um, just as kind of decoration as a layering piece um, that I printed on vellum to put uh, in the bullets section. And you'll see here, um, this right here is my actual CD. So I'm going to show you <laughs> what the original scan looked like. So this is the the original scan. So I scanned the the CD and the um, front of the, the you know the album art. Obviously, I scanned those in together. And what I did was I just kind of went in and um, you know I cropped it, and then I removed the background. And this is something that obviously you can do in Photoshop or really any um, photo editor nowadays is pretty quick to, um, you know, erase the background. Sometimes it could be kind of glitchy and uh, you can have issues with it. There is a background eraser um, feature here in Canva, but it only is available with the uh, pro membership of Canva. So keep that in mind. But, um, you know, there are plenty of free photo editors that will allow you to cut out the background just to kind of show you how it works here in Canva. Um, you just click, click the button and you just watch the magic happen. And then there it is. Now you can see it did glitch out a little bit and the center's still in there. So you can go in and, and fix it, but I already did that here. Uh, but I just, you know, I scanned my actual CD and I wanted to put it on there. Obviously I have, um, an autograph from Gerard on there. So that makes it even cooler for me. Um, I remember, you know, handing that to him and him signing it. So, and this again is the original CD that, you know, I bought this back in 2005 and now apparently like it's really hard to find this CD and I love the text around here and what it says. Um, it's just, it's just awesome. And then this is obviously just the scan of the album art and I just kind of stretched it over the background. So that one's pretty simple too. Okay, and then we move on to uh, the cover for the Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge insert. This is probably my favorite one uh, that I did. And I had this idea that I wanted to um, have lyrics. I wanted to have, you know, text as the background. Um, and I knew that I had from the, uh, one of the versions of the vinyl for Three Cheers, I, um, there's, an insert that has all the lyrics on it. And so I pulled that out and I scanned it. And you can see here, um, it, it's a lot. There's a lot of text. It's just all the lyrics. And I um, had to keep scanning them. I kept like cutting the text off or whatever, but it ended up not mattering because it's a um, part of the background. But um, I knew I wanted that for the background. So I just scanned that insert and then you know placed it here in the background. Um, I did bring the transparency down to about half because um, I didn't want it to look like that. I, you know, I wanted it to be a little more subtle. So it's down here. Um, and then I uploaded, this is from a poster that I have. Um, it came, you know, out of a magazine and I just uploaded that image and removed the background. That's what it originally looks like. You can see the tape marks where it was hanging on the wall. Um, and you can see right there on his shirt, uh, there's some where some tape ripped it off, but because uh, there's actually an image on the back side of this, obviously, this was the side that was hanging on the wall. Um, <laughs> but I, you know, use this, I cut the background out, and then, uh, you know, I just really wanted to have that image of the full band there. So this is art from the uh, cover of the CD, and I went ahead and cut this out beforehand. I've had this for a long time. Uh, where I scanned it a long time ago and cut this out. This is a you know iconic piece of piece of art for uh, anyone who was into you know my camera even just like the emo scene or whatever. Um, and you know it's always been one of my favorites, and I wanted to include that, so I just you know used that 
that design there. And then um, I had the, again, the actual CD. This is my, this CD right here is like this actual one um, is very, very special to me. Bullets is too, but this one, this is the first My Chem CD I ever bought. And, um, you know, I have it after all these years. And you know what's funny is it's really scratched up and like destroyed, but it doesn't skip. It's very weird. But anyway, so when I got Gerard to sign that, when I met him, um, that was really, really meaningful for me. And so I just did the same thing I did with the um, bullets one up here. I just threw it right on the scanner and cut the background out. Um, and then this is a cassette tape of Three Cheers that I got um, a few years ago when they released them through, I can't remember if it was through Hot Topic, if it was through Warner Brothers, I can't remember, but I just threw that cassette tape right on the scanner and added that in there. But this is probably my favorite. So this one, I, I went a little nuts with Black Parade because um, <laughs> I've, you know, just through the years, I feel like I've um, collected more Black Parade stuff than anything else. And so I created like so many Black Parade things that I haven't even ended up printing yet, but will eventually. But this here is from, again, the, um, the booklet of the CD. You could see the creases where it was uh, folded. You could see where the tape ripped it off because I had this hanging on the wall for a long time. Um, and this right here is from the collector's edition of the Black Parade is Dead. Um, it was that box. Uh, I'll put a picture, but it was a box and it, um, it's kind of like a coffin and it uh, came with, you know, the Black Parade is Dead and it came with this certificate of death and it like this mask and all this stuff. Anyway, um, I always thought this was really, really cute and funny. So I wanted to put that certificate of death on there. Um, and I also like that it, you know, has the number because apparently there were only 10,000 made. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's pretty cool if it is. Um, and then I put this little paper clip art that was here in Canva. Um, we just go here to elements and even like search for stuff. I just put a paper clip because I thought it was cute. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much that one. Um, and then this one just has the certificate of death just covering the whole thing. I haven't even printed it yet. I just thought that this might look cool um, printed on vellum just to use like as a layering piece. Um, and so that's just the scan of the certificate. This one I ended up using, originally this was gonna be the cover of the Black Parade insert, uh, but I ended up using it as a dashboard. Um, I really, you know, that whole booklet that came with uh, the collector's edition of the Black Parade uh, that I got the day it came out, um, it, the art in it is just, it's freaking awesome. It has all the lyrics printed. It's very like stylized and everything. It's really cool. Um, so it was hard to pick just one page to feature here. Um, and The Sharpest Lives isn't like my favorite song from the album or anything. Um, I, I still say I can't pick a favorite from that album because they're all just, every song in that album means a lot to me and is so good. I just can't pick one, but the Sharpest Lives is a great song, nonetheless, and I really like this art here with the mask, and I loved the title and then how it has the lyrics here. Um, I just, honestly, I just thought it would look cool, so I put that in. Uh, this is a little tape graphic that I found here in Canva that I just wanted to kind of throw on there. Um, and then this is my original Black Parade CD cover, um, and so again, I just scanned that. And I think it's cool that, and you can see how it's like distressed on the edges. I think it's cool that I was able to scan my personal items and not just like pull the album art off of Google because, you know, this is uniquely, like this is mine. Like no one else is going to have stuff that looks exactly like this because it's mine. And I've had it for years and like the way that the paper is ripped and everything and again, like the tattered edges here. And like, I know that this is my copy that I bought on day one when I was 13. Like, um, and that's why I've really enjoyed doing this project is like just knowing that it's so unique and it's mine. You know what I mean? Um, and then again, I have the cassette tape for the Black Parade. So I'm, I threw that on the scanner. And so I ended up printing this as a dashboard. Um, and then this ended up being the cover. And I'm really happy with it. 
again, all my stuff that I scanned in, um, these are, you know, prints that were um, in the collector's edition, um, like the box set thing of the Black Parade. And so I scanned those in. Um, and you can see I've got a lot of my, pretty much everything that, that Gerard autographed for me, I put in here because it's, you know, it's special to me. So um, I put those in there. Again, I just found little tape. Um, this got moved somehow. I don't know what happened. Uh, <laughs> and um, I, yeah, I just put the tape on there because I thought it was kind of a cool effect. Um, this is the back of the CD, again, of my CD. So I just scanned that. And then this in the background, you see there's like a, like a house here. Um, that is the Paramore Mansion where they, um, you know, tracked the Black Parade and it's like haunted and everything. So, um, I just thought that was kind of a cool element to include in there. And I'm really happy with this cover. Uh, this one is my one, um, design that I've done for Danger Days so far. I will be doing a couple more, but this is, I'm pretty sure this is going to be my cover. I haven't printed it yet. Um, but I do want to, I have another one in mind where, um, I want to use like images. Um, I have some pictures actually of me when I cosplayed Party Poison back in 2015. Um, so I wanted to, you know, put that in there, but this is probably going to be the cover. Um, and this is again, you know, no one else is going to have anything that looks just like this because it is very unique. This is my mask that I created that I wore with my cosplay. And this is, I'm so proud of this thing. <laughs> this is my ray gun that is an old NES zapper. It's not even the real NES zapper. It's like this off-brand one that I got on eBay. And I bought it and I ripped the cord out and I painted the whole thing. And I did this the night before we left for Comic-Con. So nothing like the last minute. But I was just so freaking proud of it and how it turned out. Um... And I, you know, I had the little like symbols on here and the details. I was really proud of it. So this was part of my cosplay. And obviously I had Gerard sign it. I actually didn't, I wasn't going to hand it to him to sign it. And then he was like, you want me to sign your ray gun? That's really cool. And I was like, oh, sure. And uh, there's a funny picture that one of the uh, staff members at NC Comic Con took. Because she took pictures for me. She, such a sweetheart, but um I was handing him the gun to sign it and it looks like I'm pointing it right at him. It's pretty hilarious. But so that is my first uh, danger days uh, design and I will be doing more. And these down here are just drafts. This is from that cosplay you see and my picture I got with Gerard. Um, but this is just stuff that I uploaded. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. All right. So let's go over now how to download one of these designs and then print it to be used as either a cover or a dashboard. So just for this example, I'm going to um, print the bullets cover. And then here in Canva, you just go on the upper right and click download. Um, and as far as the file type, since you're going to be printing it, you want it to be high quality, um, choose PDF print. And you can choose crop marks and bleed if you would like, but I personally don't. I do my crop marks when I print through Adobe Acrobat, but it's totally up to you. And then I'm just going to select the first page and download. Then you just give it a second. All right, and once it downloads, then you can open whatever you have for your PDF reader and open it there. And then you're just going to go to print. And then the biggest thing I wanted to point out here is that you need to make sure that it's set on actual size and not on fit um, because you want to make sure that it's the correct size, that 10 by 7, so that, um, you know, it'll print correctly and be sized correctly for you to use in your B6TN. So uh, just make sure you are on actual size. And then you'll hit print, and it's as simple as that. All right, so once you have printed, um, now you're just going to take your piece of paper and we're going to cut it out. So once you trim down your design, then I'm going to show you how um, you can actually put that cover onto the insert that you have created. Um, there's a few different ways that you can do it, but I'll show you 
just how I did it. Um, and as well as, you know, something that when I was getting into, uh, you know, traveler's notebooks just a couple of short months ago, I was really confused about how to put, um, you know, how to do inserts that people talk about, you know, putting in a dashboard and well, how do you do that? Um, and so I'm going to show you, you know, how I printed one of these um, to use as a dashboard. I'm going to show you how to kind of insert that and how you can use that just as like a decorating piece. It doesn't really have a function, but it's just another um, pretty little thing that you can have in your B6TN. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, you know, feel free. I would love for you to comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with a friend who might be interested. Um, and I will see you guys next time.